Welcome to Learn Robotics and AI and in this video I'll be giving you a list of 10 machine learning projects for beginners. Project number one. Project number one essentially involves recommendation recommender system for movies, and you need to build a movie recommendation system. So uh, this requires using TensorFlow and Python, and you need to understand the concept of how recommender systems actually work, and understand some basic concepts such as collaborative filtering. And this is essentially a simpler project with the difficulty rating that i've given uh, as two out of five let's have a look at a resource to see what that project actually looks like and how you can make it run so here is another real python machine learning tutorial build a recommendation engine with collaborative filtering so it has it is very well structured it first talks about the theoretical idea of what collaborative filtering is defining the data set for or problems, steps involved in collaborative filtering, and more details of it, and also shares the Python script and explains things in a lot of detail. So this is something that you can refer to in order to create your own recommendation system for movies, and you do not require any prerequisites for this. Project number two is essentially to perform sales forecast for Walmart and you would essentially also need TensorFlow and Python and you would require concepts such as time series analysis and regression. So these are the things that you would implement and this is also of a difficulty level of two out of five. Let's have a look at the resource quickly. Time series forecasting with LSTMs. And here is a medium article that you can access in order to really uh, understand what time series is. And there's also a GitHub project associated with it. So deep learning, uh, hacker's guide to machine learning with Python, basic, uh, easy to understand tutorial with a lot of notebooks. And you can refer to the notebook for sales forecasting for Walmart. So this involves using LSTMs. And these are the fundamental concepts that you can learn while you're building the project. So you do not need to spend a lot of time digging into the theory, start building the project, and then you can see, hey, how is LSTMs used and why are we using it for this project? Or can we use some other uh, model for that? <laughs> Number three, project number three essentially is stock price prediction. And for that, you would need to forecast stock prices for financial markets using TensorFlow and Python, and again, using time series analysis and neural networks. And here is a resource of stock price prediction. This is a towards data science article with a lot of details and a full block diagram of the complete architecture with a lot of theoretical concepts and a pretty detailed very long article that you can refer to uh, in order to implement this project let's move on to the next project project number four project number four is essentially customer churn prediction and you would require to predict customer churn for a hypothetical business using scikit learn and python you would need to implement classification and logistical logistic regression and need to understand these basic concepts. So the difficulty level is also two. This is also a pretty simple beginner friendly project. And here is a resource 
uh, which is also towards data science article hands-on predict customer churn and there's a lot of details essentially you might need to use a premium version of towards data science to access this article or you can find some articles which are of similar nature in order to <laughs> moving on to project number five which is disease prediction so you would enter a lot of details in this case uh, this image shows a liver a disease prediction and for that you need to enter a lot of these uh, terminologies and it would predict whether you have a liver disease or not and it could essentially be any disease predict the likelihood of a disease based on certain symptoms could be based on certain symptoms or it could be based on certain metrics based on a medical report so concepts are again neural networks and classification three out of five difficulty level and this geeks for geeks disease prediction uh, tutorial was something that i found uh, very uh, interesting and detailed with a proper blog diagram and explaining the overall pipeline and the entire code shared and explained with splitting the data set performing data pre-processing and then defining the model training the model essentially the typical machine learning pipeline so this is a re resource that you can refer to for your disease prediction project let's move on to project number six now which is essentially credit card fraud detection so you would need to detect fraudulent transactions and for that you would you can use scikit learn and python again and anomaly detection and classification are the concepts that you would need to be familiar with difficulty level is three out of five and here's a towards ai tutorial that you can refer to which is step-by-step -step machine learning project in python credit card fraud detection it essentially defines the problem statement in a lot of detail and what are the things that we are given and how would we go about really analyzing the data and uh, solving the problem essentially using neural networks uh, or uh, other machine learning uh, approaches so this was project number six another thing that i would like to mention now at this point is that do not refer to the resources blindly of course there are a lot of these resources that are that give you step by step guidelines on how you can implement the project but try to do that project by yourself struggle a bit and i know i say this in all of my videos but this is very important that you try to do these projects by yourself and not uh, blindly follow tutorials because you might have an illusion that hey you're learning things but you're not really learning things you're simply copying and pasting things essentially does not give you a lot of learning it can get you familiar with a lot of tools and frameworks but to really learn impl uh, adopt a problem focused mindset focus on a problem and try to think of solutions exercise your problem solving ability okay moving on to project number seven now project number seven is essentially handwritten character recognition which we also covered in a list of computer vision projects this involves machine learning of course and um, you need to recognize handwritten digit recognition for some reason i keep on uh, making some mistakes so here i uh, accidentally forgot to update the problem statement but you can refer to the entire article uh, on the uh, website learnroboticsinai.com and this is a complete blog post with a lot of clickable links to all of these projects and resources so that uh, should essentially uh, cover things more accurately so uh, tools that you would use is use our tensorflow and python simple image classification and neural networks you can use mnist data set i don't want to give you a lot of keywords essentially just a list of projects and try to figure out what, what are the concepts that you would need to really solve this problem and what are the data sets that you might need what are the models that you might need and so on 
try to figure out different models, compare them and try to build this project all by yourself. Difficulty level is two out of five, very simple project resources are, I found this digital ocean tutorial, very detailed, how to build a neural network to recognize handwritten digits with TensorFlow. But essentially this is such a basic project that you would be able to find a lot of resources on this. This one was pretty detailed and used MNIST data set. Let's move on to project number eight now. Project number eight is essentially sentiment analysis. And this is a visualization that you see that essentially asks for feedback and predicts the sentiment based on that. So sentiment analysis analyze customer reviews for sentiment. And you use uh, natural language toolkit, NLTK library using Python. And you need to understand some classification algorithms and natural language processing concepts. Difficulty level is two out of five. And here's a data camp tutorial that you can directly refer to. Python sentiment analysis tutorial. It talks about theoretical aspects of what sentiment analysis actually means. So if you have no idea or no prior experience in NLP, this should be uh, a very good resource to refer to. Again, very detailed with a lot of text and explanation. So all of these resources are very beginner friendly and that is why I'm uh, sharing uh, this these resources in the video. So you do not need any prior experience for any of these projects. Number nine, project number nine is essentially weather prediction. So predict weather conditions and you would need to use TensorFlow and Python and use time series analysis and regression. These are the concepts that you would need to be familiar with. Difficulty level is three out of five. And this is a resource here. Uh, again, time series analysis tutorial with Python. So basic concepts of time series. Try to figure out, try to uh, narrow down the problem and specify what weather conditions. I haven't really specifically defined what are the weather conditions you want to predict. So you can uh, narrow it down or refer to some other resources and use this time series resource to essentially perform your weather prediction um, uh, uh, system or problem. So the last project is essentially now creating a simple chatbot. And the goal would be to develop a simple chatbot using NLTK and Python, using NLP, basic fundamental concepts and rule-based systems, a simple project, and you can follow this code academy tutorial. Uh, or essentially, it is, a, it is a sort of a free course, build chatbots with Python, and you can... Uh, you can refer to this step-by-step -step structure. So Code Academy also has a lot of uh, free tutorials and courses that you can refer to. But for this purpose, uh, using Python and NLTK and, uh, and uh, understanding basic machine learning and natural language processing, this tutorial would be very good. And it is designed for beginners. And it takes eight weeks to complete. And you can also get a certificate. You do not require any prerequisites. Okay, so that is it. These were 10 machine learning projects for beginners. And if you are, if you aspire to be a robotic software engineer and you want to still add machine learning to your stack, which you should, because machine learning is a tool that is very essential for software developers in any domain nowadays. And if you want to get familiar with machine learning, this, these, this list of projects will essentially give you uh, a good foundation so choose any of the projects that you find interesting you can do multiple projects and build a portfolio and try to figure out your interest which areas you're really interested in and build more and more projects in your field of interest okay that is it good luck on your learning journey